What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm going to front load this video in the series because I've been asked about it so much and I kind of just wanted to clear the air on it. This is a kind of a conceptual video of how to network your ATAC or WinTAC device, like how to get them talking. And if you can't get them talking, what you still can do and what you can't do. So there's a few instances I want to cover. This one here is if you have a device that does not have access to the internet at all and is not networked at all. This instance is if you have a device or several devices that do have access to the internet, but you haven't networked them right, like they're not on a server. Uh, in this instance, you have several devices that are all networked together so they can communicate to each other using just a Wi-Fi router. Uh, this is an instance where all of your devices have access to the internet and they all are connected to a server and can now all talk to each other through the internet. And then this is a situation where you have different radios connected to your phones and these radios can talk to each other and effectively send information from one phone to another or one device to another through just radio transmission. So back to the most basic setup. This is if you have a computer or a phone that does not have access to the internet. Like you don't have a SIM card, you don't have server access, you have no sweet radio connected to it. Um, these phones effectively can't talk to other phones. But if you've downloaded, if you put a map on your phone or, you know, put a, if you downloaded a map on ATAC, ATAC will still show you where you are. You'll still have a super sweet map you know, on your phone, maybe several maps. Your GPS will still work, so you'll still know where you are. You'll still be able to see, you know, good overhead imagery. You'll still be able to use different tools in ATAC to measure dis different distances and drop icons and, you know, route plan. Like, that is all still totally doable in a standalone, non-networked ATAC or WinTAC device. Um, but the downsides are you won't have access to, like, map streaming, you know, if you, if you in ATAC go to a place you haven't been before and you don't have imagery, you're just not going to have imagery. Um, you also will not be able to talk to any other device. So like Blue Force tracking in this instance will not work. These phones will not see where they are and you can't send information to and fro or, or contact your other guys. Uh, this is an instance where, say you have a device or a few devices that have access to the internet but they aren't actually uh, like networked to a server. Basically what's going on is each of these devices can get on the internet and you know download new maps, send text messages over you know signal or whatever. But these phones or devices won't actually be uh, like trading ATAC information over the internet. They're just kind of doing their own thing. So it's kind of like the standalone system, but you have access to like new maps but you will not be able to Blue Force track. Like these phones are not communicating to each other. They're just all going to the internet and they're not actually talking to each other specifically. Um, yeah, this is a pretty common situation. For this, you need, if you wanna fully make ATAC work as well as it can, you're gonna need to figure out a way to connect your phone or device to a server. And I'll go over that in a second. This is an instance where and note that all the these straight lines mean that you have access to the internet, but you're not necessarily like networked to other devices where these dotted lines here indicate that these devices are actually talking to each other and trading ATAC information. So this is one way to do it um, where you just have like a singular Wi-Fi router. Like in my apartment right now, I had for a lot of these videos, I had two phones that were both connected to the same router. Therefore, they were communicating ATAC information back and forth. And I could Blue Force track them and send data packages and send pictures and super simple. It just works. There's really nothing to it. Just make sure they're on the same Wi-Fi network. Um, in this case, the devices have access to the internet. If the router is connected to the internet, usually they are. Uh, we were able to do Blue Force tracking over it because the phones are talking to each other through the router back and forth. Um, although this system usually isn't encrypted because most routers are not encrypted. They just kind of send plain data 
Uh, and then the big downside of the system is that the range between these devices that can talk is only as far as your Wi-Fi router will broadcast, which is like, I don't know, 20 to 30 meters maybe if you're lucky. Wi-Fi routers really aren't too spectacular for distance, but this is easy. Uh, if you're doing some sort of like mission planning, mission planning in a, like a static office style environment, this is totally one way to do it. Just turn on a, a router, could be a small little TP link thing, and now all of your devices will be connected and you guys can like plan a mission together and send data packets to and fro and uh, yeah, pretty reliable. This is uh, kind of the desired end state for a lot of people. This is where you have a bunch of ATAC, WinTAC devices that are all connected to the internet through whatever, you know, cell tower, Wi-Fi, whatever. But instead of going just to the internet ambiguously, they all are connected through some sort of server. Uh, this server I've seen in the military, the military will have a specific server that's authorized. Uh, if you don't have access to those ones, Zero Tier is a really cool free server that I will do a video on, show you guys how to use. Uh, free tax server is another program I've heard of people using, and it is what it sounds like. It is a free TAC server. Um, the way this works is like this device will talk to a, the Wi-Fi router and go to the internet, but all of its traffic will be funneled through this server. Same with this device and same with this device. So actually all these devices are meeting up in the same place. All their data is going to the same spot initially, and this allows for them to transfer information between each other in this case, ATAC information or, you know, positional information, data packages, whatever. So to make this work, all the devices need access to the internet and they need to have some sort of VPN program that is connected to a server, one specific server. All They're all on the same server. Uh, and this is good because all the devices will have access to the internet and, you know, downloading maps. They will be able to blue force track each other, see blue dots, you'll be able to send data packages, messages, all that stuff. Um, if you're using a VPN, it's inherently going to be encrypted. So all of your stuff is semi-secure. And the range between all of your devices, it can be across the entire world. You know, it's, it's the internet. It's as, as, as long as you have connection to the internet, you're on the internet. Um, the downside of this system in a real world scenario is that your phone can be tracked. Your phones are always being tracked. And there's really not much you can do about your phone's not being tracked. So that might not always be the answer, but it usually is. Um, or, you know, if you're like out in the jungle or a forest or a desert where there is no internet connectivity, you're screwed. Um, maybe like Starlink can help you or something, some sort of satcom system. But this to make this work, your devices need to have internet access. Uh, using a device and having them networked through radios. Uh, this is kind of a newer concept, sort of. Um, the benefit to this is that where in this situation, you needed like local infrastructure, you needed radio towers or Wi-Fi routers with like internet, ethernet cables. This can be ran all by itself where each device is connected to some sort of data transferring radio. And these radios effectively just communicate between themselves to network these phones. Um, in this case, for the most part, your devices will not have access to the internet, but that's probably okay. Uh, you will have blue force tracking and you know communication capabilities because they're all networked together. Most of these radios are encrypted and the range between them, they're generally line of sight radios. So like a medium range, you know, a kilometer, 10 kilometers, a hundred meters, whatever. Uh, depends what you've got. Uh, some examples of data radios like this, GoTenor radios, I've seen those, I've, I've used those, they work quite well. Um, although they only send like positional information and very basic text messages. You can't send like a data package or pictures because the, the thorough put is just pretty limited, but you'll know where your guys are and that's pretty good. Uh, Meshtastic is another program. A lot of people are building their own like miniaturized radios uh, through the Meshtastic protocol. I tried it myself. I couldn't get it to work all too well, but that was a few years ago. It may work better. 
Um, by comparison, Meshtastic is very inexpensive, like $100 per radio. Uh, there's good Reddit pages for how to do this. Um, Motorola, you know, it's another product that people make. Obviously, Motorola is a big company, but I heard that they do have like data transferring mesh radios. I haven't used them, but Motorola generally does a pretty good job. Um, the MPU-5 is a commercial, commercially viable radio. Expensive as all hell, but they're incredibly fast, incredibly powerful radios. Um, if you can afford it, that that's one of the better ways to go. And then there's a variety of like green military radios out there that I'm not going to go into that can support data transferring as well between themselves. So I hope this made sense to some of you guys. I'm going to make a video on zero tier because that is, I think for a lot of people, just the easy button and it works and I've done it and it's great and it's free. So cool. Talk to you guys later. Thank you.